you then you would need to check to see if first if car matches any of the cards within the stats. Okay. No, let's do like car if check if car found in the parking. Right. Cool. And then here is where here is where this could get tricky uh, for one part because so let's say let's say we let's say we for departing the owner will tell us like their license plate which is basically the number um, so and we're gonna call that just car the same um, or let's do maybe car car ID yes uh-huh We'll need to have a separate function to locate the car, right? Because, well, and Joy is thinking of that because let's say we have we have this A B C B C D H F G. How would you tell? Like, if you have this, if you have this stack. Um, how would you tell, well, I'm thinking from the perspective of the computer, how would you tell if B is in the parking? Right, like now, well, it's, we can see it here because we're humans and we recognize the patterns of the computer. You know, the computer does, has no such superpowers. Um, so how would we, how can we check if a element is in the stack, basically? Uh, abiding by the stack constraints, camera table. So we could pick uh, into, let's say, X. Uh, we pick and we get D. Right? But then, so picking will, won't be enough, right? Because if we pick, you don't pick one side, right? Um, well, that's correct. We could pick on both and see if in this, if we pick on X, we're going to get D. If we pick up Y, we get G. None of those is B. What else? What do we need to do? So that we need to pop. Um, we will need to pop. Let's say we pop B, and then we pick again. Is the next thing B? Now we will need to pop again um, and say pick. The next thing is B. Yes, then we found. So. And then on top of that, we have two stacks. We'll need to like search both. So what is the, what would be? So the only way in which you can search a stack is by removing everything and checking every single element and then putting them back on, right? So that what is the time complexity of that? Forever. <laughs> Not forever. <laughs> It will be n or linear uh, time complexity. Why? Yes, because it's going to take as long as there are elements in the stack. It will take as long, or I like to think of it in, like, in terms of operations. Um, we'll need to do the operation of picking and removing as many times as elements in the in the stack, right? Because if the if the element is the last one, we need to remove all of them. Um, so it will be linear time. Linear time, the removal, and linear time, the putting them back on. But they are, there they will be like on separate uh, loops, basically, right? Yes? So, so, so when we talk about we have to create like a second uh, area to put that thing out. With. That's correct. When we pop them out, we're going to put them back in. We we'll need to think of a second area to put them while we while we find them, right? So that's the complication. Um, how could we? So we we're saying we're all agreeing that it's going to be kind of complicated to have to. Yes, Joy. Yeah, we, uh, put in the hash method. Yes, that's the answer. That's where I was going to go next. <laughs> the answer is the hash map. How could we, so because the problem here is, well, we want, to, we want to tell in what lane a car is, right? 
uh, so that so that we can just start popping from there. Right? Like if we know that B, if we could somehow keep track that B is on lane X, then we just know that to remove or to to remove B from here, what we need to do is if X has space, move cars from uh, no, if Y has space, move cars from X to Y. And once Y runs out of space, put cars in the street uh, until we can remove B. Right? So this is like, again, that's, um, so one approach will be have like a function called locate that will literally go through both stacks, popping everything, searching for our car, and then telling us where we, where we found it. Um, and then we, once we, we have that lane where the car was found, then we can start popping from there. Right? Another, a, a better approach would be what Joey suggested. Let's keep track of what lane or what lane, what cars goes on what lanes, basically, with a hash table. Uh, in fact, there is a, just so that you have it in your radar, there is another data structure called a set that we're going to see later on. Uh, a set will be a little bit more appropriate, um, but we're just going to use, we're going to use an object um, as a set. A set is just a data structure that guarantees that all the elements uh, in the data structure are unique. Objects guarantee us that all the keys in the object are unique. Uh, and we in JavaScript, I use, I actually didn't learn about sets until I finished the program. Um, but yeah, you could go on like MDN and learn a little bit more about it. Um, but you could think of you could think of an object that doesn't have values. It just has the keys or, or the, the things are storing the keys, and it just guarantees that all the elements in there are unique. Um, but in here, so let's create that object. Um, so one, we we're gonna need a street. So let's create a street here. This that street. The street is just going to be an array, uh, or it could be just a very big stack. But I will say an array because we theoretically have unlimited space in the street. I will know. Well, actually, if we if we think about, it, we know that in what is the maximum amount of cars that we will have in our in the street. Yeah. Seven. Uh, I guess eight. Uh, those are too high. Is it two uh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> one? Uh, one way. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> we're in the in the how many like how many how many parking spots do we need in the street basically? So. Or let's think about actually we should have thought of, of this at the beginning. So like what is the simplest case and what's the worst case? So let's say let's say we have let's say let's represent this let's represent a lane of four. And this X is the car is representing the car that we want to remove. And let's say we have we have these other, other cars. And these are two lanes of, oh, actually, so let's start with the, the what would be the easiest, case, like the simplest case? We don't need any spaces of zero. Uh, for, for the party, if we, if we don't need to, if we don't need to move any cars, right, that will be the, the simplest case, in, which will be this case. Let's say, um, we want to remove X or whatever card is this star um, and is at the top of one of the stacks. Yes, come What would be the hardest case? Seven. Um, and where, so if I represent that in here, what would that look like? The star would have to be the last star. The last star here? Seven. And then other four here? So in here, how would we remove this car? Um, 
And so is the But well, it doesn't really matter. Well, but you don't need to do first. We have here, and our exit is here. Um, right. First three cars, right? Uh, so this car will go to the street, and then this one can go out. So what's the maximum amount of street space that we need? Three. Three. Right, so we know that we will need uh, one less than our lane size, basically. So since we sort of like know that, then let's just do, we could create our street as a stack. Um, let's do a new stack of uh, three. Right, like there is like, there is no combination in which we're gonna ever have more than three cars on the street. Right, so this is, these are, these are, so this is the easiest case. This is sort of the toughest. Uh, what about this case? Uh, where we have like our two lanes and we have like, this is the card I want to remove. We have something like, let's say this. What's, what's the, what are the moves here? So we remember that our lanes are four. So let's do this. We want to remove this car, um, and we have two spaces available on the other lane. So that means that this car has to come here, and this car has to come here, right? So we can get to remove from there, and then X can go up, right? Okay. Questions or comments? Does the car go out? They go back in the same order as the first That's a good question. Um, so if imagine like this was like uh, an interview question, uh, that's something that you want to ask. Uh, the problem doesn't specify. In our case, just to make it a little easier, we're not going to implement that. So if these two cars move here. Uh, then this car went out, this don't come back. They don't come back. They don't come back. When they go to the street? When they go to the street, yes, they will need to come back. In the same order as they were before? Um, yes, in the same order, but the lanes, um, the lane wouldn't matter. So let's actually see that example. So that would be something like this. Let's say we want to pop this car. Yeah, let's say we want to pop this car. We have two cars here, and we have this. In this, this scenario, one car will need to be in the street. Because this car moves here, and then this car will need to go out. So let's move it around here, and then our car can go out. But then this guy is in the street, we need to put it back in. In here, for pu putting it back in, we'll be just, we can just call park. Um, and you know, it, it will go, it will go once the X goes out, then this will come, come back. It doesn't really matter, like if we have space, um, let's not worry about like where is the, the one that we took to the street going to be. So let's implement this. Any questions or comments to this point? Cool. So, so we're we're gonna make the trade-off of using a hash map or an object to keep track of what lane is in what uh, of what car is in what lane. If we don't do that, and I want you to like understand that. This is something that you're going to be doing on interviews and on your job, which is trade-offs of speed for space. 
or vice versa. Most of the times you want to sacrifice space to gain speed. And the trade-off that we're doing right now is, uh, as, we, as we were discussing, to find an element in the stack that will take linear time, right? To tell on which stack the element is. But if we, so that's, linear time is not that bad, but if we can get rid of it, we, we better get rid of it. Um, and then the way in which we're gonna get rid of it is by using an array, uh, an object, sorry. An object that has table that um, will occupy more space, but it's gonna let us check if the car is in the lane in constant time, right? So the, that's the trade-off that we're doing here. Um, so let's do that. So let's call this, let's create, so we need somewhere to keep track of the car, so what it, we can do here is, let's do this, that, cars, let's call cars in X, let's do an object, this dot cars in Y. So what we're gonna do is, this is, this is again um, sacrificing, we're gonna be using more space. Um, and the cars in X, what we're gonna do is, the key will be like the name of the car or the ID, so let's say like one, two, three. And the value will be just true. Just so this is to indicate that car, we may not know exactly what location the car is, uh, but that this car one, two, three is in the X line, lane. Uh, and so on for cars in Y. So in here, in this case, then what we want to do is whenever we're parking a car, we want to also keep track of what lane that car went into. So we're gonna do that in here if we say, if we push to lane X, then let's say that lane, um, this dot cars in X, uh, let's create a key with the name of the car, and let's set that to true. And just do the same for when we push to lane X, but now cars in X, in Y. So what this is gonna let us do once we want to depart is check what lane the car is in so that we can uh, remove it faster without having to search through the entire parking. You know, this is like in, like the analogy will be Somebody keeping track of on a note, on like a notebook or a tally, where they're taking uh, maybe two columns, lane X and lane Y, and they're just taking note of where uh, the car is, what lane, and then not having this object will say will be something like where every time you want to remove a car, somebody will have to go and check all the cars and see if it's there, right? So again, that's the trade-off. So just, just then look. Let's look at here. If we have lane X, let's do. Let's now console all the cars, cars in a, in X, and let's do cars in Y here. Just to verify. Let's go here to the side load. Uh, so we have that the cars in the cars in X are 3-3, three, three, Brie Brie, Bicycle, and Cyber Truck. So since we are filling out those, that lane first, so we see this, right? Uh, and then after that we see that um, Savisa, uh, Khadija, and the other cars are on the Y lane. Well, this is gonna let us check then here, once we have, once we're de departing, we can say if, um, we can say 
if cards or cards in Y contain this card car ID, then we know that it's in the Y lane, right? This is the X first. Also, um, I think in here we can do something like there is this other notation for this that you can say basically this if car ID in cars in X. This is another way in which you can check if something is in uh, an object. If car ID in cars in X, then we know that it's in the X line. We want to remove stuff from there. So let's run with this one since it's a little bit more readable. Um, but yeah, remember that this this is the same as that line that I commented out. So if that's the case, what we want to do is basically um, check if the thing that is at the top, check if this is the card that we want to remove. If it is, then just remove it and you're done. If it's not the card, then uh, we want to check if the other line has space. If the other line has space, then we want to remove that card from one lane to the other. Uh, and we want to do that as long as basically as long as we don't find the card that we were looking for, um, or as long the this stack is full. Right? So for doing that, we can say something like, let's do. Actually, let's. So we know that is in this case we know that is in lane X. So let's check. Let's check if. If lane x that pick triple equal our car ID, then um, then just pop and you're done. Let's say lane x. And in this case, if we let's just sort of like return let's return that car. So if it happens that we know that the car is in lane X, thanks to our hash table, thanks to our object, um, we just do uh, we pick to see if it's the first thing. Uh, if it is, then we just remove it. So that will be this case, right? We're addressing this case where the card I want to remove is at the top of the stack. Now let's do, so what happens when it's not at the top of the stack, right? The, the other example will be, yeah, like, like this one. Well, this one is like one. Let's go back to this. Um, let's think of it. Let's think of it from here. Where we know that the the car is on line X, um, and we have two cars that are not our car. We have three cars that are not our car. So in this case, so we need to put this onto the other lane, put this one onto the other lane, and that lane becomes full. In that case, the third car needs to go to the street, and then we can remove our car. So what we can say here is. 
let's do so else if it's not the first uh, card that we have what we can do is let's say while so we want to do this as long as we don't see uh, our car for as long as as we don't see our car so let's say well this that lane x dot peak is not equal to our car ID we are going to check if the other lane has space if it has space we have to pop from one lane and add to the other one So if the if the lane, lane the other lane has space, uh, what we're gonna do is let's say let remove car is equal to lane this dot lane x dot pop. Let's say then add it to the lane lane y. Lane Y dot push remote car. As long as that has space. Is this making sense so far? <laughs> cool. So then the other case is what happens when the lane Y doesn't have space? What did we say when the other lane doesn't have space? Should take it to the street. So what we're gonna do is exactly the same thing, which is but instead we're gonna push the street. Oh I forgot to call this function here. Cool. And then we know that uh, once we have, once we break out of this loop, what we end up is with our car matching the car ID, which in this case we could just do let our car equal this that lane x. Oh, cool. Wait, is Desa here? Desa, Desa, you said? Oh, okay. Uh, let me Oh, it's um, yeah, the the holding team projects. Uh, yeah, they're they're gonna be presenting their project uh, to some people that relate to pursuit. Um, right now. Um, not right now, but later on. Um, so they had to meet with with Dessa to like finalize that. Yeah. Later on today. They're not presenting today. They're just like, yeah. Yeah, 
Okay, so we were saying that if that is full, then once once the once we break out of this loop, then that means that we found our car. Um, we just pop it and return it. And then I think this is pretty much it. Let's see if there are any questions or maybe bugs that we see in this code that I probably left. Let's try it out. So, oh, I'll. Oh, that's thank you. Yes, we're not um, at the end. We want to check if the car, if the street has any cars. Uh, then what we're going to do is put them back on the parking. So we can say while the street is not empty, um, while the street is not empty, then what we want to do is pop from the street. Right, since we implemented the street as a stack, um, and we want to push that onto our not on the street, we want to push it onto you know what? What we want to do is this that park, just park it again. And then return our car. And then let's see. Oh, actually, so in here we're not we're not answering the question because the question is return the number uh, the number of times cars have to be moved out of the way. Uh, but in here we can just count when we do when we move to the to the street or when we move a car to the to the parking to the other lane. So let's say, let's maybe define a right over here. Let num of moves, that starts at zero, and then and then it's gonna be this, this case, or this other case, so let's just say num of moves plus plus. And then here we just return And number of moves. Uh, so I'm going to console log. So I'm going to finish this. Just console log in our car here so that we verify if it's our correct car. Uh, and then let's see if this works. So let's say we went to, so in this case, we only coded part of it for lane, for a car being on lane, lane X. Um, for lane Y, it will be the same thing. Or we could just, also once we have um, that will actually be a good exercise. You implement like lane X, lane Y, and then you will see that the code is basically going to be the same. Um, and hopefully, you will want to get rid of that repetition um, and then come up with a way. So in this case, our algorithm is only going to work for removing a car that is in the lane X. So let's say we know that we're pushing to X first, right? Yeah. So let's say we're removing... Our parking is full. Um, let's say we're removing bicycle and see if we get two as the answer. Um, so what we're gonna do is let's do console.log and we see parking that the park bicycle.
comment this out. Node main.js. Uh, so it seems that we have some errors. Car, card ID is not defined. Somewhere I left card ID instead of car. Line 30. Try now. Another error, cars in X is not defined. This is this dot, cars in X. Uh, and we get one. Okay, so we got the we got the correct car that was moved, but we should have seen. Oh, you know what? So we moved two cars to the street, right? Because we have. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's actually correct because we have the last car that came into that lane was the cyber truck. And we move that car to the street to remove bicycle. So let's try Bree Bree. Uh, and then our algorithm works. Questions, comments? <laughs> that is definitely a comment. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you enjoy your break. Uh, feel free to